Hi everybody, greetings from a very pleasant afternoon here in Cape Town. Today we're going to be looking at Rhodesian army food and we're going to be spending some time in the kitchen. We're going to be spending time outside. We're going to be spending time here in the lounge talking about it. But before we do, Nadine, <laughs> and I, I, hope I'm not, I hope I don't surprise you too much with this, but <laughs> would, you, would you mind, since we have viewers from all over the world who are not accustomed to our accents, would you mind very much just saying a few words and savor Afrikaans as Absolutely, absolutely. Good day and welcome to our channel. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, folks, without any further ado, let's get right into the How kitchen. A rasher of bacon, lightly boiled egg, and two slices of thinly buttered toast. And uh, I... You know, I looked at this lot, I thought, how are they going to prepare this in the bush? This should be interesting to see. Well, there was a rustle and the guy climbed out of his sleeping bag and he rummaged in his, his pack. And uh, he came out with something that looked like this. And this was the breakfast that contained all those things that he spoke about. And it was something that the soldiers would prepare at home um, and then take into the bush with them. So they'd make up a batch of this stuff, and we're going to be talking about that in a moment. And um, they put it in little plastic bags and take it off uh, in their trunk. So uh, it's uh, something that one can do at home, and it's something that is... Delicious. Yes. And easy to do. Absolutely. And um, which name we can't obviously say. Oh, that's a um, pity. So... Oh, we can't say that now. No. This, this good stuff is still on the market. That, that is still good. That's so, still good. So the, you'll, need, you'll need this. Which name we can't mention. Which name we can't mention. And some... Milk powder. Milk powder. And some... Sugar. <laughs> now, you've got to just mix these ingredients up according to your own taste. I prefer 25% uh, sugar, 25% milk powder, and 50% the product whose name cannot be mentioned. And you just mix it up. And I've, I've got some here that is pre-mixed. Nadine, you can give me a hand. Oh, I've got to tell you about this. This, this is a plastic cup. And um, I took it out of the pack after a contact uh, with a zipper group uh, in the Dandy uh, River. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably a half a century old, wow. but look at the quality. It's wow. really well made. Sure. No stress marks, no cracks. It's lasted, very it's lasted very well. Nice and thick and it's, yeah. Yeah, four or five decades and it's as, it's as, it's as useful and as serviceable as the day that it came out of the molding machine somewhere in East Germany or in Russia. Wow. So um, uh, we don't have much uh, in the way of compliments to pay Russia at the moment <laughs> with the way things are going. But um, hats off to the guy that set this machine up. Uh, he did an excellent job, really. Yes. And, um, and I've kept this with me because the stainless steel cups that the Rhodesian Army gave us were very good. I mean, they're absolutely superb quality. But, um, but I like this because it, the sound wasn't quite as, as noisy in the bush. And I always used a wooden spoon. I never bothered with a steel spoon because it, it clanked too much. So there we go. We've got a cup to mix our, our breakfast in. And we've got the water. And we've got the water. So I'm going to pour in you do that, I do some this. of this. There we go. All right, you can pour. Okay, let's do it. That looks that. Oh man, I think that's just about that the right amount delicious. of water. That smells delicious. Yeah, that's just about the right amount of water there. Um, you can see I'm a regular. <laughs> <laughs> regular. Yeah. That smells good. Come mm -hmm. on, Nadine, you got to try this. <laughs> well, just mm -hmm. there you go. Let me finish it off for you. Mm. Mm. Well, that's very good. Well, that's very good. Mm. So that's the sort of thing that one can, can do at home. Mm. Uh, make up a batch of this stuff, uh, put it in little plastic bags, stick it in your trunk, 
and uh, off into the bush you go. Now, uh, that said, um, let's look for a moment and see what it is that the army would actually give us to eat while we are in the bush. <laughs> now, this, uh, uh, this is just a, a reproduction that I've made. It's just an imitation thing okay. to give you some idea um, what we had in the army. So we'd get a, a box like this and it would last you for a day. Uh, one man, one box, one day. Um, and uh, now let's take a look and see what's inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, cool, man. Can you see? Me hold oh, how cool is that? Okay. I love I oh. love stuff like that. Uh, that is like that is like a like Pandora's box you open it. <laughs> well, <laughs> first of all, there would be what we call dog biscuits. And um, this is the closest that I could find to this. Maybe we could do um, another video one day and we'll make some of these uh, ourselves. Okay, and we'll show you how, how to make it. I, I, I can't get the originals. It's impossible. But they looked something like this. Okay. Now, uh, they had a bad reputation. Because um, if you listen to soldiers, they will tell you the, the most terrible lies about these dog biscuits. Um, uh, some of them say... Why do they call it dog biscuits? Well, th th originally I think they were called hard tack. But somehow it got, it got the name dog biscuit. Some say you, you carry it in your, your shirt pocket because a bullet can't go through it. It protects your heart. Others say you, you break it up with your rifle butt. You make it into a powder. <laughs> And then you, you roast the powder and you make coffee out of it. Uh, others say you, you, you can't eat it because it'll break your teeth. You have to soak it for two or three days in a mess tin of water. Wow. <laughs> it's not true. It's not oh. true. Um, uh, you can bite into them perfectly well. Uh, I've got all my teeth still and I ate these things and I never, I never soaked them in water. I tried that once only because I thought it might, you know, I wanted to know what the taste was like. But um, they're not half as um, formidable as people say they were. So we can put those down somewhere. I'll put it here. And then some matches. Good old lion matches. Mm -hmm. And um, some water purifying tablets. I thought it was grandpa's. <laughs> <laughs> I look like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, uh, <laughs> there would be six in an original pack. And uh, the idea is you put one in the water and that sort of kills all the hojos and, oh, uh, okay. and bacteria and stuff. And then after a while you put the other one in and that uh, takes the taste of the first tablet away. But I never bothered. When we, ever, when we did use it, I just used to put the first tablet in. It's a, like a chlorine pill. Mm -hmm. It's like drinking water out of a swimming pool uh, in, your, oh. in, your, in your bottle. But uh, it's fine. You get used to it. Uh, some tea bags. Uh, some tissue paper. And the tissue paper for what's that? Well, they give you tissue paper. Okay. Mm. Unsolved mystery. <laughs> <laughs> and then there'd be, there'd be three tubes like this. Okay. And one would have a, a white cap, one would have a yellow cap, and one would have a red cap. And in the white cap would be butter. There'd be butter in oh, a tube wow. like this. The, yel yeah. the yellow cap would be cheese, and the red cap would be strawberry jam. That's so cool. Now, How do you open it? What you do is, where, where's our biscuits? Yeah. Okay. Now, you know normally how one, you'd smear butter on a piece mm. of bread or mm. something and then put the jam on top of yeah. that. Well, the army teaches you not to do that. You just unscrew it, and then you put a bead of butter down the one side, maybe there, maybe there, and then you take your strawberry and you put it next to it. Oh, wow. And when you bite that into so it, cool. yeah, when you bite into it, you will not know the difference. It just all tastes the same as you mix it up in your mouth. So, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got our butter and our cheese and our strawberry jam. Cool. And, um, <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. And then we've got some hard boiled sweets. Uh, the red ones were always the favourites. Wow. Some sugared peanuts. Oh, wow. 
How long was this last? They last a long a time. A day, but it's uh, well, it's for a day. Box. Yeah, it's a lot of food. It's a lot of food, and it's good stuff. Well, the Swiss will definitely be first. If <laughs> I had the box. Um, and then some little packets. Let's look at those. This is so cool. Yeah, we got some coffee. That's a cute little bag. How many cups can you make out of this? Uh, probably. Well, one, I suppose. In the Thing. No, more than oh, one, I'm sure. Oh, That's yeah, more than but one. But the trouble is, uh, you know. Depends on how strong you drink your coffee. <laughs> it goes all over the place. In a little bag of salt. Wow. Yeah, There's a lot of salt, wow. Yeah, it is a lot of salt. Gee. Curry powder. Curry powder. Yeah. Wow. And how then. Cool is this? <laughs> <laughs> a bag of rice. Oh my goodness. So cool, so cool. Um, a bag of sugar. Can I borrow some brown sugar? <laughs> <laughs> some milk powder. Oh, with the, for the for the name that we can't use for yeah. the porridge. That's now, n normally there would be um, another packet like that with um, powdered potato in that you could just mix with water oh, again okay. and, and make mashed potato so, for yourself. So do you have a spoon then also with all of this stuff to scoop it? No, oh, there would be spoon. nothing in here. You'd have to provide your... Well, the oh. army gives you eating irons, but um, they wouldn't be in the in the ration pack. And then a, a bag of... Um, What's that? It's called jungle juice. It's, uh, well, that it's like it's like a, Yeah, it's like a sugared kind of drink. And you put some in, a, in your mug and... Pour water with it and then mix it up and, and you drink that. Um, and I, I'll just put it back in the pack again because it's it, in real life it tended to be quite messy and it used to oh, seep out and get onto everything. Yeah. Is it nice? Does it taste nice? I, I, I liked it, but I must say it wasn't that popular. But it, you know, it was no, okay. Still. Yeah. And then some small tins of food. Oh, that's so cool! Look how cute that is. <laughs> oh man. Uh, fish, great favorite. Oh, wow. Oh, we love the fish. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, cool is this? And then, uh, Frey Bentos, beans and franks. And there'd be little, there'd be little frankfurters in there and you, you spear them with your, oh, man. with your fork and you pull them out. How and cool is that? <laughs> wow. Good old Frey Bentos again, Hungarian goulash, very popular. Amazing! I've never seen this. <laughs> oh, really, I've never seen this. And then a great favorite, orange slices. And boy, you you, you were very happy when you got a tin like this. And, wow. um, you always get the same tins. No, you? there were three different kinds of, of, of ration packs and they were marked and then you could, you know, you could just um, uh, get you, a variety by taking mm -hmm. different ones. Now, I only ever saw one man take a whole pack on patrol with him. Uh, he was a fellow who was a botanist and if we went away for six days he would just take six packs, uh, put them in his um, rucksack and he would walk. Um, he's the only man but the rest of us, uh, you know, if you're told right you're going on a four, way, four day patrol, go and draw rats, take four boxes or whatever you, you think you need there, uh, we'd unpack them and sort out what we want and leave the rest of the stuff and at the end of the call up that Whatever was left over, we'd take home and feed to our pets, maybe, if it was tinned food. Or even, I, I used to eat it myself. I loved yeah, it. Yeah, that's cool. You know, this is very uh, nice. Yeah. I, I, I used to, what I enjoy doing too, is just mix all the tins. Of course, not the, the peach slices. <laughs> but just yeah. just mix everything. And we called Make that... Make your own dish. Yeah, we called it cowboy food. Oh, <laughs> my dad makes that, cowboy food. But yeah. With yeah, obviously with potatoes and stuff. But yeah, yeah, you just mix it all amazing. together. Amazing. That's so exciting. So like, so that's that's what what oh. you'd have. That would be your ration pack. I would. Uh, but of course, you know, every so often you'd get what they call fresh rat, fresh rats. And that would be meat and um, vegetables and so on. But this is what you would get to take out on patrol. How cool is that? See, this is nice because... It's things that I, I've never seen this. So for me, this is very interesting. <laughs> I would be so excited if I must get this box every day to open it. <laughs> <laughs> I would open everybody's boxes. Folks, I have uh, some equipment here with me, uh, kindly loaned uh, to us. 
by uh, Salu Scout, Billy. Uh, thank you very much, my China. We really appreciate it. Folks, this is authentic stuff. It, is, um, it probably hasn't been used again for a number of decades. And uh, Nadine, we're not going to rehearse. I, I've, I've done this. Yeah. I've done this hundreds of times, and I ought to know what I'm doing. Mm. I'm going to surprise myself if I can't show you how to cook rice, <laughs> uh, because I didn't rehearse in the bush. It was just second nature. So let's see if uh, if that uh, knowledge has stayed with me. Here is a a a gas burner. This is typical of the. Um, the type of thing that would be issued to every Rhodesian soldier um, and it's something that you would uh, you'd keep in your possession. Billy still has it and uh, 10 points to him for that. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna try and light it up in a moment. I, di I did test that part and it, 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 it works <laughs> although Nadine thought we wanted to burn the house down but we, we didn't. And then here we go pattern 70 webbing all authentic, absolutely genuine stuff. Water bottle and stainless steel mug. And it has an an a handle that folds up underneath it. We just want to clip it in because we don't want we don't want any accidents. There we are. It's perfectly safe. We can put it on the on the gas burner and uh, cook our rice in it. Okay, Nadine, can you help me? Can sure. you fill it up about halfway with water? Let me bring it a bit closer to you. A little. Less. Yeah, I guess that's more or less like that. Yeah, that's that'll that'll do. Okay, let's fire up. Here we go. <laughs> Just in case. Ooh. Ooh, can you smell it? I can. Okay, here we go. Oh, and she's off. Perfect. Now, with that about to bubble away, this is what we do. I'm going to take another matchstick. Hold the packet like this, and we put a couple of perforations in it on both sides. Oh, yeah, this is like <laughs> stress. You say it's, it's stress relieving. It is. It's actually, oh, and then you lose, right? <laughs> okay, I, th I think you can. Okay, alrighty. Do you want to grab it on either corner oh, and then just ease it into the water? Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, and we'll just leave it uh, to simmer away there. It works <laughs> nicely, actually. Yeah, it's, it's bubbling away quite nicely. Um, no. Now, uh, as I remember, what happens eventually is that rice uh, swells yeah. and the bag actually breaks open. Is it? Yeah. And you just pull the bag out and you've got this, this beautiful rice there. But I don't know about this rice. It's modern rice, and I don't know what they do to it, or what they treat it, or whether it uh, it works in the same way as the stuff we were issued. But so far, well, everything's maybe looking. Maybe because it's inauthentic. Uh, bucket. Yeah. <laughs> it will be authentic. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's there. Yeah, it's looking good. Eh? Yeah, it's just just I've turned that off. Let me just put that there where it can't burn anybody. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Okay, but hey, this looks this looks as though it's done. Just you're gonna me, burn. I, just, I gonna, told you you're gonna burn. You think so? Yes, because I burned me. You're gonna burn. There we go. Look at that, man. Hey, look, I look, think this is I done. I think it's because we turn it around. I think this is done. Look at that. Can you see it? Let's. Uh, I need to just break it open with the. Got a knife or something? Or that'll do. A spoon. Yeah, why not? What did you do in the in the, in the bushes? Well, I just don't, I just don't used trick to, now because if you didn't do this in the bush, you shouldn't do this now. I just used to take it like this and tear it, you know, tear the packet. Careful, it, Nadine, it's very. I'm already I already burned, so I'm a tough cookie. Look at that. 
I wonder if that would be ready. I think there's a few in there that could have gone. It could have gone a few. So. Mm. Could have could have stayed on the on the burner a bit longer. But anyway, that's how we cooked rice. Yeah. So, <coughs> and you could make it into a rice pudding if you wanted to. Oh yeah, that. You know, or you could have it savoury. Or with curry. Or with curry. Make up a curry sauce, uh, some bully beef. Yeah, that's it, folks. That's how we cook rice. Every so often, as I mentioned before, uh, we would get fresh rations. And that would be in the form of meat, vegetables, and so on. And um, we would um, actually f fry the meat uh, in, a, in a spade like this. You know, plenty of spades lying around any platoon base. And, um, and what we did is we would just make a fire and then hold the, the spade over the flames like this and cook the meat. So Nadine, I wonder if you could give me a hand. Could you put, sure. could you put some, some butter in there for me first? How much butter do you want? Uh, I think you can, can you put in about a quarter of a block there. That, that would do it. Okay, fine. So we'll just let that, that melt. Chefs at work. <laughs> <laughs> The push shapes. <laughs> okay, that looks like it's, yeah, it's melting doing quickly. the job, ooh, eh? Ooh, ooh, I went a bit wild. Oh, sorry, my fingers are clean. No, oh, don't worry about that. Whatever's in there <laughs> is, uh, uh, you know, the heat is going to deal with that. There we go. Yeah. Okay, that looks, that looks like it's... Oh, it looks good. It does, eh? If I can see. Yeah. Are, you, are you okay with the smoke? Yeah, we've got a very smoky fire. Oh, don't worry about but, that. But um, rather smoky than no fire. Eh? Yeah. Oh, it's actually. Okay. It goes quick, huh? Mm. It's actually very warm. You won't, you can't believe it. <laughs> Mind the smoke. <laughs> I think we can. Shall we try and lift some of that butter out there? That un okay, unmelted. Okay. Where can I put Just this? put it on top of the others. I think it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's looking good. Yeah, so. And we've got some some steak there. It's uh, not we've got some very we've got some very nice <laughs> steak. Yeah. I, I don't even know if it's going to fit in that. Well, you, I'm thinking. You, you wow. Put in one piece at a time. Oh, I think we can. Do you want me to put in a piece? Let's yeah, see. Yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, it should really sizzle, but. Oh it's well, it's going to get there. The butter is certainly melting nicely. Yeah, the butter is very hot. Let me yeah, put it more yeah, to the not, side. Not there. The I forgot to put it in the sizzle side. Yeah. It's me, it's me. There we go. <laughs> oh! Ah. <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> yeah. Watch us. Oh. So. Boy. You need to say something. Well, <laughs> we're wondering now. It's, it's like cooking the rice. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I think really, it's when we do something, when we cook something, when we stand and look at it, it, it just, it, it, just take, it takes forever. It takes like revenge on us, and it just doesn't do anything. So, yeah. But I'll, I'll tell you what I am thinking of the the last occasion <laughs> when when I cooked oh. meat like this. <laughs> I was bending everything. <laughs> the last occasion when I cooked meat like this, I was with. Two very well-known game rangers. Um, the one was a fellow called Clem Kutsi, um, and the other was a, a man by the name of uh, Barry Ball. Oh yeah, wonderful men. And um, sorry, and I'm did, moving around. Sorry, I'm, yeah, I'm moving did a, for the we smoke. We did a call up together, and, and, and one evening, um, Clem cooked some some meat like this for us. Yeah, they all, um, uh, you know, they've all moved on uh, you know they they no longer alive I know. and um, at least you have the memories yeah it's just that when you do things sometimes you don't realize that you're doing it for the last time with that person oh well and uh, you know I'm, I was just thinking of it as as I was that's getting true, this, eh? this ready. that's actually true and yeah what well, you want to try and turn it over a little wow we careful there we go
Oh, no, I move it and you just moved it. Okay, maybe we're not good chefs after all. You mean, well, maybe we should... Maybe we, we, maybe we should stick with, with our day job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything that doesn't involve fires and, and maybe and rice. cooking rice. <laughs> I think, okay, I think, okay, okay, there's still a lot left though. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stand around like I'm dancing, oh. but it's just for this moment. This, this, oh, this, this fire is really, really important. Okay, okay, you just make sure there's no lumps here. It's looking good. Do you want to get your meat and your... Okay, uh, Nadine, uh, oh, oh. We've, uh, we've got our, our steak a la fochel, <laughs> <laughs> and we've got our sadza, mm. and I think, um, what do you say we, we dish it up now I and see what it tastes let's like? Of course, now comes, now comes the, the, the exciting part. The, sure. the best part of it all is, is eating it. This smells delicious. It does, doesn't it? Sure. Eh? It really does. Hang on. Uh, before we eat, let me just say, a big thank you from me for everything that you've no. done. And I really thank mean you. it. Thank I, you. I, I really mean fun. it. You've, you've, uh, you've been super <laughs> and, uh, and, and you've done a great job. Hang on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this was good. This yeah. was good. Okay. Let's, uh, uh, let's, let's, let's put it to the it. test. Yeah. Yes. Well, folks, we hope you enjoyed that. Um, in closing, uh, we just want to say thank you very much for your interest and your support. Uh, we really appreciate that and we don't take it for granted. So Nadine, uh, goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. And keep well, uh, take care, and until we see you again, cheers. Bye. <laughs>